Hello YouTubers, thank you for joining me today and welcome to five live videos and that's the football index videos um, and basically as promised as we've um, discussed in the past I will be presenting to you guys any updates we get from football index management team um, any sort of news anything that could kind of affect our portfolios in any way shape or form or any news that might be um, crucial to the to the planning of um, um, achieve, acquiring more players or, or expanding your portfolio in any way so and um, today we're um, doing a little update just to give you guys some some uh, market news from Adam Cole who's the founder and CEO of um, the football index as you can see from the photo in front of you uh, that is Adam Cole and um, this is a long awaited, um, eagerly anticipated uh, update because since the uh, end of the double dividends we had uh, that ended on the 4th of April, um, I'm sure, or the 3rd of April, and then we had the five place media, media dividend holders um, take into effect on the 4th of April, and we've been in that. Um, in that promotional scheme ever since then, and um, the 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 initial announcement that was released um, on the 4th or so thereabouts um, Adam Cole did mention that they were going to review um, the situation with regards to, to, to the uh, promotion and what they've um, opened up for traders to take part in um, due to the fact that the football is currently cancelled so the the idea was to review the, uh, the initial promotion uh, for the five place media dividends on the, on from the 24th and now we've um, had the updates a little early so we've had the updates a day early and this is now um, mapped out how we're gonna kind of carry on as traders and and the community as a, as a whole over the the coronavirus period and um, due to the fact that the football has not yet started um, he's kind of given us some sort of guidelines and how he's gonna kind of keep the ship steady if if i if i may say so so um what i'm going to do really is just give you guys a read through of the updates um speak a little about it run through some of the promotions that have been put forward and um and see um how we can kind of um take advantage of some of the opportunities that have been uh, presented to us um so yeah just bear with me whilst i try and read through this article and hopefully you can understand exactly what i've read out um for, this is for just before i start that off i'd just like to say that this is mainly for people who but potentially don't actively look on the index properly every day not on the social media platforms and not on slack or anything like that so someone who's kind of just not in in tune with what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis if you're just following me for that reason then i will be pr providing um, updates like this for you guys so you can have a visual uh, representation of, of the um, news updates as well as uh, something to reference from uh, next time you want to look at it anyway Oh, pardon me. So um, those of you who are actively on the platform, you probably have seen the news and, and you, you probably are well aware of uh, the news uh, coming out today prior to the release of that. But straight into it, guys. So it says here, Adam Cole. Um, Hi, traders. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. Thank you all. Um, thank you for all your birthday wishes. The celebrations went well, Abby, uh, limited due to current events. I look forward to having a proper party at a traders meetup when the, when we return to normal. The team here at Football Index have adjusted fabulously to the new new dynamic of remote work working, and I want to thank everyone involved with the product in in diligently continuing uh, their dedication and hard work throughout what is a challenging time. Bear with me, I can't read my words today. I have a few very uh, exciting development in the pipeline and I'm very happy I'm hopeful I will be in the position to unveil these in the in their glory in the coming weeks 
Um, so from the sounds of it, it looks like there are some more um, maybe potential promotions or, or certain updates to do to um, release to the to the market in the coming weeks to kind of keep the ship steady. Really, um, it goes on to say the market has performed fantastically well throughout April despite the lack of football, and I hope football index is providing enjoyment whilst we await the return of the game we all love. And if you haven't seen any of my videos in April. Um, or in March, I think um, Football Index paid out two million pounds in uh, dividends. So things have been quite um, good for the index throughout this uh, really bad, turbulent time that we're experiencing currently in the in the world. So it then goes on to say, social responsibility is at the heart of our offering during this time and as such we have considerably reduced our advertising in March and April. We feel strongly that it would be irresponsible to try and encourage people to start betting on a new platform whilst they may be furloughed struggling financially or simply with too much time on their hands we've said it so many times before that it will and i will but i will say it again please gamble responsibly and only bet what you can afford uh, if you are concerned about your gambling there is help out there and good starting places bet uh, gambleaware.org so looking forward to may we are continuing with the five place media dividends the media dividend deadline extension uh, which we'll all talk about all of these uh, in a little while and we're making it's easy to win match day dividends by reducing the threshold for each match day um, in the event of football returns. In the event football returns, we're also running a ten thousand pound cash drop this week, and we'll we will have further offerings in the weeks to come. All of the information is below regarding um, these offers. Um, on a personal note, I'd like to say my thoughts. Um, and prayers are with anyone affected by the current outbreak please do stay home and stay safe for those football index traders who are key workers in the nhs and emergency services i'd like to say on behalf of our whole community thank you football fans often talk about messi and ronaldo being their idols but you guys are the real heroes we'll get through this together and football index is going to emerge stronger than ever onwards and upwards adam cole founder ceo of football index so um that's um his update as as read out to you guys and um i'm going to run through some of those promotions and, and the um sort of the continuation of, of from where we've kind of been in the last few weeks really um kind of unchanged as as i thought would happen um i didn't really see that much coming in i kind of thought football's not going to be on there's not been that change that uh, much change um, um in the uk currently we're still um serving an extension of a three-week um lockdown um which at the moment it, it's not looking too likely that football's as of yet in in the in the pipeline of, of returning so um the best if i could possibly do is what they're doing really at the moment which is to keep that um, five place media extension in place i didn't see them taking up or reducing whatever they've put out there currently because um, nothing's really changed so um kind of as expected really um the only few differences here i'll start with the massive uh, 10k april cash drop now this was uh i think this I don't know how fairly new this is. I mean, I'm still fairly new to the platform, but um, this is the second time I'm having, I've seen this promotion now. I think there was a, a previous one about three weeks to a month ago, maybe a little bit more. And um, unfortunately, I couldn't take part in that. Didn't didn't really have enough funds to kind of um, make the purchase on the uh, on the deadline date for the eligibility. Now, um, I did uh, follow up on Twitter and did see some posts regarding some of the winners of those prizes. So um, rest assured, these were actually genuine. If you're having any doubts, um, and it's, uh, you're you're basically not really doing anything to to enter this competition. You're, you're, all you're doing is purchasing a couple of features of a player. Um, within the said date and uh, you're automatically entered into the draw uh, with a potential of winning uh, so one person gets a five thousand pound cash um, draw uh, three people get a thousand pound two people get 500 and four guys get 250 pound in cash so all cash prizes um, which would be a great boost to to anyone's portfolio really so it's, it's worth um, taking part in that um, just to mention the, the eligibility for this is um, you have to buy 10 pounds worth of shares uh, bets placed between uh, 
12 o'clock British summer time and 23 so 11 59 59 on the 24th which is tomorrow um, to be eligible for the draw which will be at three o'clock British summer time uh, on the 25th which is a day after tomorrow so this is quite short notice real quick um, as far as I'm aware uh, the ongoing um, 8.25 percent promotion um is ending tonight at 11 59 sorry and as far as i'm aware the pay payments for those um for those um payouts should be in your in your accounts by tomorrow now it kind of is a no-win thing if you're getting some money back for for the 8.25 percent promotion that was going on then guess what you could you you instantly got free 10 pounds to kind of get yourself stuck into this uh, this next promotion and potentially get some kind of a, a bump up on your account balance <clears throat> now so yeah so do take part if you if you've never been in, in involved in that i've never been involved and i'll be taking part in that myself tomorrow and um if i do when i'll be sure to uh, to do a video about it um uh, moving on from that the first place uh, media dividend is currently still in place as I advised um, earlier this will now run until the 31st of May um, which is currently an extra month so we've got this five place dividend of a total of near enough two months in in total up until maybe this is reviewed again on the 31st of um, of May and 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 the outcomes haven't changed so we'll see how that goes um, at that point but currently as it stands the five place media dividends continues running until the 31st of may it says from the first to the 31st but we're currently in it it's just an extension to the the current um placeholders as uh, as um put forward previously now moving on from that he's um now talked about the deadline extension still being reloaded meaning um it's still in place um this only applies for media dividend extensions guys so um you now have up, up until eight o'clock british summer time to to complete any purchases of any futures of a player that you want to do and then you can um, you you can then qualify to, to or be eligible to to receive uh, those uh, dividends for the day. Um, so yeah, do check that out. Uh, moving on from that. Now this I thought was a little. Um, I could not find. Build me guys. Right, I'm having a bit of technical issues here. Um, but yeah, I could not find the. Because I'm sure this uh, gold post was moved uh, previously. Um, I'm not sure if it was for a certain period of time due to some some reason or not. But um, I'm sure this was previously moved. Now, all I have here is the current uh, 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 move again. So I'm going to read that out and um, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. All it means is it just it, it requires less all this um the moving the goalposts reloaded technically is saying is we're, we're putting we're reducing the benchmark for which it takes for any particular day to qualify for either a bronze silver or gold match day now um, it just makes it easier to earn more money with less games being played um with regards to those dividend payouts on any particular of those days so the payouts i think were, were um, went up quite recently um, but anyways, the, the 2p uh, top forward for Bronze Day, um, Silver, uh, 4p and 8p, and the, the payouts are all equal on each of those days and for each of those um, player categories. Um, so now the only difference is this went from 1 to, for Bronze Match Day, 1 to 4 matches to 1 to 3. This went down from 5 to 14 matches to 4 to 9 for a Silver. And for a gold, it went from 15 plus matches to qualify for a gold match day to 10 plus matches. So it's a significant drop from um, from where it previously was. So I do expect that to play some sort of um, impact on on people's uh, decisions when it comes to purchasing players in the future. But this doesn't actually come into effect until um, the actually i need to read this real quick but i'm sure this doesn't actually come into effect till football resumes but i'm not sure what season so it says i'll i'll move in the goalpost threshold will apply until the conclusion of the 
19 20 campaign season so if um this uh season then resumes from from where the suspension then ends and players are allowed to to um complete the season and and complete those matches that are still um outstanding then um these uh these uh, new rules would then apply the move in the goalpost will then apply till the completion of the season um for all five eligible leagues whenever they may be and it says gold match days are days with 10 match day 10 plus football matches silver are days with four to nine that are that one to three um matches until the 2021 20, season starts yeah right so this will then remain until the new season starts and um as far as i'm aware this will then get re-reviewed re uh prior to the to the start of the 2021 20, um season so we'll see how it all fits in together um with um the updates that we get from from the government and from the general public with regards to when things might be getting back together we're not quite sure about that yet um but yeah moving on from that that's just a uh, um, all the updates and all the sort of promotions going on at the moment kind of entice buyers and traders to, to stay in the index and to trust the, um, trust them throughout that that part so it's it's um, all good for that but yeah um, just remember guys that today is the last day to take part in the um, the 8.25 um, uh, promotion um, of up to 1500 pounds returns on um, on any purchases of players or the net purchases minus the, the net um, sales um, sold players so do check that out and make sure you get involved because um, it'll be nice to kind of wake up to some bonuses tomorrow so we'll see how it all works out and fits in moving on from that um just a little updates as i said i'll be as transparent as i can reg regardless of um the size of my account i'm going to try and just uh, be as transparent as i can i, I don't really want to be sh um, hiding anything i'll be honest with you um because the best way to teach is to kind of show show bear bear, bear skin show it all and um have uh, people kind of pick apart what it is that they do understand and how they want to approach certain things that they do um, but saying that um, I have uh, put in some more funds into the account uh, mainly due to the fact that um, I wanted to kind of get the maximum um, exposure I could to the promotion of the 8.25 percent so um, I, as I said that ends today uh, and uh, it kind of made sense to buy people prior to the promotion ending especially if i'm only gonna go on to buy those players in a few days or a few weeks or whenever the promotion is in effect and i can't make get a little bit more for my buck so that's kind of the idea there um saying that i kind of picked up a few new players uh added up on mason mount uh added up on thomas party um uh, sung hee ming um i got a couple of him um kind of just got a, a few more players Kristen Pulisic and yeah just a lot of these um players in here there are a few um St Maxime and Wilfred and Didi as well I picked up but I am going to get get rid of quite a few players on this list um currently cannot do that due to the fact of um the um high spreads um and also the currently as you can see i do have a couple players for sale as i i try to kind of um i haven't actually sold a player on this platform yet um i only just completed my first sale yesterday um so i kind of had to sell someone to not have any doubts or um, issues when it comes to qualifying or or being eligible for the um, 8.25 percent promotion going on currently so i kind of had to get rid of them but in doing so i kind of um noticed uh i i noticed that the uh, instant sale was uh, temporarily uh, frozen so i couldn't complete an instant sale which w kind of was the idea or the plan i had hence i left it so late to kind of do it um but then i put up um granite jacker mason holgate and um pereira lester's um right back um um, up for sale and um, I woke up and Pereira had been sold and um, funny enough I might try and do a video about this because there's a lot of, um, into selling a player that kind of eluded me because I hadn't done it prior to this but I didn't realize you you could um, you could uh, set certain limits um, with regards to I'm not if, if not actually sure if it's a stop loss or a take profit um, or just a reminder I'd have to look into that to be honest um, but you can also um, 
if you if you choose not to instance sell a player they they actually just go into the order book and they go into the price that you've requested which is technically trying to sell it at the buy price right so uh, not much much difference in that but it, it kind of worked out for me because um because the fact that i couldn't sell Pereira um on the instant sale um i put it on for sale and he actually sold for the buy price um which was 151 if i'm correct i only had two two shares of him so i got rid of him um and yeah so i'm kind of going for a portfolio rebalancing at the moment i'll be doing a little bit more next week because um i'm going to be adding a little bit more funds and trying to um, push on to the next level really um because i know a lot more people have a lot larger accounts than i do here and um and vice versa really so um, there's a lot more room to grow, a lot more people to purchase and a potential to make more money based on the fact of um, the uh, Adam Cole news um, that, that's been dropped today with, with regards to the five media dividend placeholders going on for an extra month and a week, roughly, right now. Uh, that is a lot of time to earn some dividends. So, And um, as I've reported previously, I've had days where I've had three, three uh, players um, earn me dividends throughout this uh, period which is great so if i can take even more advantage of that prior to this um whole thing starting up then that's exactly what i'm gonna do um moving on from that um uh let's have a quick look at the media ranking right now do i have anyone in there so ronaldo is currently sixth um Jaden sancho um is a bit of a oh man he's the, he's uh, anyone watching his price right now will be kind of am amused or kind of just blown away by what's going on with the price of Jaden Sancho currently because it's just ridiculous and I mean if Jaden Sancho gets to say 17 quid instantly you kind of have to have the valuation of the index kind of you kind of have to follow the lead do you see what I'm saying so if you if you thought Rashford was expensive as seven pound guess what he's not going to be expensive at seven pound if Sancho's trading at 18 quid that's kind of um the the scenario that it's leading towards at the moment um it's kind of unpredictable to see how how it's going to affect the index as a whole because this is all new territory um, I'm not sure if um prior to the um stock split um where traders um, um, where uh, players tr uh, prices traded pri prior to the uh, previous uh, stock split if anyone has that information do let me know where is the highest ever player um, on the index been um, is it uh, currently uh, Jaden Sancho's uh, 13 31 um, or was there a player who ultimately had a higher price prior to a stock split? I don't know. I've only been on this platform roughly about four or five months. So if anyone has that information, do let me know um, or leave me an, a comment. And I'll be sure to, to respond to you um, very lightly. Um, so, yeah, moving on from that. I just wanted to talk briefly on this and this is due to the fact of um, the five media dividend placeholders uh, extending a little bit now I did a little bit of a research and this is courtesy of um, index gain so if you guys aren't aware of index gain really good third party platform to use to do research regarding um, anything really and now I just did a, a bit of a research with regards to media dividend buzz right the uh, points um, it cured on each player and stuff like that over a certain period of time and I started my time range was uh, between the third of I'm um, sorry the fourth of um, March which is ro round around um, when football kind of got suspended um, indefinitely until um, our current um, time right now and um, it's, it's been quite surprising to see to see how it's it's all worked out i mean i'm going to try and redo this real quick because i think it reset after i took it apart so if i did it from the fifth till our current date today and if i arrange it by the total wins and this is quite a nice visual idea of what's going on you can see how many times um any of these guys ever had made it to first second third fourth or fifth um how many times um top four 
So it's been top four 22 times. Right. So it kind of breaks it down. Um, how many times has Eva had first to fifth? How many times have he's been on top four, um, top five to whatever top? So kind of measuring where he finished um, with regards to the position. And um, I'm here, I'm just measuring it by um, arranging it, filtering by the amount of win wins of um, uh, media dividend finish uh, positions um, on the placeholders since this period started. And as you can see, Jaden Sanchez right up there, followed by Bruno Fernandez. Um, and to be honest with you, my conclusion from doing this, uh, this bit of research is to say the the media dividend is kind of what's happening right now, right? We know um, the media dividend placeholders have been extended to five and they're going to be running for, for another month and a bit. Now, the problem with that is you don't have any football, so you're not going to get the likes of anyone that isn't on the, um, the, the, the transfer um, telescope, anyone on the kind of the rumors of a, of a big move or any kind of move, really, um, those are the guys who are potentially going to stay ahead of this div media dividend um, scenario, right? Um, and maybe the likes of R Ronaldo and Messi, because anytime he does anything, he seems to kind of um, be right up there. So um, apart from those two guys, for me, um, like the likes of Sancho, the way I see it, until he actually signs a contract extension at his current club or actually sits down and says actually I'm, I'm gonna make that move he's gonna be a speculative media um uh, conversation and his price is gonna keep going up it's only gonna keep going up until this whole thing subsides he makes a move resigns a contract at his current club and and then actually plays a few games when football reschedules so until then i actually don't see a bottom sorry a top for Jaden sancho there is no top currently there isn't a roof um he's only going to keep rising until those conditions are met where he actually signs a new contract um at his current club looks for a, a, a deal completion between united man city whoever it is he's going to get himself to and from the point of that um uh, from the point of uh, at which he actually signs that contract to, um, to to continue or to leave the club and actually play a couple games at his new club or the new season where he's at, then this news or speculation is not going to go anywhere. His, his price is he's going to break twenty pounds um, fairly fairly soon, um, especially if um, the lack of football continues the way it is. Um, because right now everyone is buying into the speculation of the move. Um, no one's really talking about performance. Performance as then is what is going to be that fence that potentially could stop him rising anymore because you then have to live up to the hype people have paid for. Um, but until that's happened, um, unfortunately, the, the Jaden Sancho ride um, is kind of... Um, uh, an amazing one for those who are involved it's kind of a dream one for those who are involved but for those of you who aren't um it's probably best to try and look for the better ways to kind of get involved and um and take part in um any other player that potentially could get to those kind of valuations and and that's ultimately what would happen if um if someone kind of breaks the roof and um just skyrockets like that you kind of um, expect the whole of the rest of the market to kind of push together with it slowly not necessarily in in synonym or all together at the same time but gradually the index should follow suit and um, the guys who deserve to be right up there will probably will be right up there I have a few in mind which I will probably potentially talk about on another video but yeah until then um, it's been a pleasure. I just thought I'd give you guys uh, the bit of news with regards to Adam Cole's release today. Um, give you guys a little bit of an update with regards to my portfolio and um, we'll review um, any more further updates as they, they are announced um, and um, our involvement in any of these competitions that are, are, are taking place at the moment. Um, yes, so just a reminder, do uh, be aware that Adam Cole did mention that there, there are going to be uh, 
some other updates uh, in the next few weeks. I, I'm guessing with regards to further promotions to kind of um, um, give give a, a little bit of spice to the index um, dramatic uh, period that we're going through. But anyways, uh, thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate your support. If you like the content, do share, like and subscribe below. Um, on the screen and um, if you have any comments or want to um, give me um, some suggestions or talk about anything regarding your portfolio do feel free to leave me a comment um, and we can have a little discussion about that if you wish but until then thank you for joining me appreciate your time and god bless have a good day guys